Oh, okay. Um, hi, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the letter review um, sheet that's in your folder, as well as the number cards that are in there as well. Um, for the letter review, we show this to the students, usually when they're here in class, every single morning when they come in. And we like to get them ready for kindergarten with this letter sheet, not only by identifying letters, but also by pointing from left to right. Because in kindergarten, they take a test called the Dibbles test, and they have to learn how to slide their finger from left to right. Um, left, showing them from left to right also helps them when it comes to reading and when it comes to writing. If your child does not know any letters, you first start with the first row. As they start learning more letters, you go ahead and continue reviewing the, the other rows. So you point to it first, have them point it, and then you, you say the letter first, and then they repeat after you. So I would say A, the child would say A, M, the child would say M, and then you, you go on. If they know a letter, sometimes you can either you know use a marker or just kind of give them a high five if they know it. But if they if they learn a letter, you can either underline it or you can circle it just so they're aware of the ones that they already know and the ones that they still need to work on. And you only do the letter names. You do not do the letter sounds until you they know all of their letter names first. For the numbers. We have numbers one through 10 and 11 to 12, or 20, I'm sorry. Um, I want them to first focus on one to five if they don't know how to recognize those first. And then you go on from six to 10 and you move on from 11 to 15 and 16 to 20. Normally in the preschool, we focus on one to 10, not only by saying the words that are the numbers out loud, but also identifying them and corresponding to objects according to that number. So you can just show them ra um, random items that are at home. They all have little toys, so you can show them toys or beans or buttons or whatever you have at home. And after they go over their numbers, for example, we'll start with the first row one to five, you can now sh tell them, okay, show me two. And then they can show you two of whatever you have at home. Now show me five, and then they can show you however many objects here so three four five and you help them count that way so that's what this um, number mat is for to help not only count out loud point to the numbers identifying them but also to put um, items of whatever you have at home using the number card the last part here we have some just random construction paper this is for them to either practice cutting uh, putting stickers on there you can also um, Put some lines, okay? If your child does not know how to cut just yet, you can just do simple straight lines first. We always have the students stand up when it comes to cutting because it helps them with their position with when holding the scissors a lot better. You can tape the paper to kind of the edge of the table so they're able to hold it like this a lot better while they're standing up and then they cut this way. Um, once they know how to cut straight lines, you can go to zigzags and curvy lines. So they can either trace it first with the writing utensil and then cut for five motor skills. Um, the construction paper is also just for them to draw pictures or they can add stickers to it. So that's the items that are in the folder. I hope they enjoy doing things with it.